Hey, what's going on guys? Well, in the last uh, battle box, <laughs> I got a bag of this, pork barrel barbecue uh, bacon jerky, right? And this one happens to be the uh, sriracha. Um, I tried that <laughs> right after uh, the video. I had a little piece of it. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And then, um, I don't know if I mentioned the video, but it says here that they were on uh, Shark Tank, the show, which I used to watch. Um, which is an interesting show. You see all kinds of people's ideas and stuff like that. And obviously they made it. They're a big, uh, big company now. Well, I don't know how big, but they're they're a company, and they're making their their bacon jerky. And it's a great idea. And I've actually seen bacon jerky from a lot of different people. I've had bacon jerky from a few different companies, and it's all just been bacon. You know what I mean? It just tastes like regular bacon. Um, this, however, was through the roof delicious. Okay, so after I tried this, I actually contacted the uh, the company. Uh, pork barrel barbecue and I told him I wanted to try other flavors that they have okay because my wife actually tried a piece of this my wife can't stand anything spicy complete opposite for me like I said if she has something black pepper that could be a little too spicy for her so it's not her thing but um, she fought through the spice I made her try it I'm like you gotta try this it's amazing and I got the nah it's spicy I don't want spicy you gotta try it so find that little piece she liked it so much and it was burning her throat she's coughing like hell because she can't do spice but she had another piece because it was that good so uh, yeah, I want to try the other uh, the other flavors. They also have a, a spice rub they sent me, and a little bit of uh, barbecue sauce. The barbecue sauce unfortunately has a lot of sugar and a lot of calories. So maybe come summertime, I'll use it very sparingly on some chicken and you know beef and pork and stuff like that. Um, but the spice rub, of course, has uh, zero calories, which is nice. Okay, so we'll try this one uh, in the future and try to see what's uh, what's in it here. Salt, dehydrated garlic, onion, spices, ancho chili pepper, smoked paprika, mustard flour, chipotle pepper, celery seed, and cilantro. So we'll see, maybe in the future. But um, as far as the sauces, I'll hold off till till summertime where I'm doing like barbecue all the time. I still barbecue in the wintertime occasionally, but not nearly as often. And like I said, now with you know continuing doing very good on my diet and everything else, um, incorporating a lot of sauces is just not good. Not good at this point. So. I know you're thinking, you're thinking, well, hell, you're on a diet and you're changing your lifestyle and you're eating better and all that stuff. There's no room for jerky. Well, there's always room for a little bit of jerky. Uh, jerky is actually not that bad. In fact, bacon itself, not that bad at all for a diet. Um, it's all about portions and the fats are actually good for you. It's just, in this particular case, they're, some of the flavors are coated with stuff. You know what I mean? Like one of these is maple. So obviously maple syrup, the extra sugars and stuff, it could be a little bit more. But um, it's actually not all that bad as far as calories. The uh, sriracha is 90 calories, and there's two servings in this one ounce bag, okay? I think the most was like 120 or 130 calories, but anyway, I'm going to rip through all these flavors. I just want to try a little piece of each to see how it is, and I'll save this one for last since it's spicy. I don't want it to ruin the palate, but uh, I did want to try these to see what the other ones are like, and I, I do it on camera so you guys can uh, see if anything sounds appealing to you. So today's uh, knife, of course, is going to be the Espada, a big one. You go on bacon, you got to have a big knife, right? So let's try the original first. Original barbecue. This one is 90 calories. Same thing. Um, 8 grams of sugar. 4 grams total fat. And it's a 1 ounce bag. Alright. Actually, eh, screw it. Just say these all have nice little pull tabs, but we'll get to use our knife just because. Alright, so original barbecue. Let's see here. Another snowy day. Okay. Oh, God damn, that smells good. And just to give you a, a, an idea of what one ounce is, you can't really hold. It's kind of like one fistful. One fistful of bacon. But let me see if I can get this without having the whole thing fall. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's one, one big old fistful. All right, so let's just take a little piece. I only need a little piece to try it. All right, original barbecue. It is a little sticky, you know, with that sauce on there. It smells like, I don't know, it smells like KFC barbecue sauce. They're just original. There we go. Wow, that's good. Mmm. You know what this bacon reminds me of is um, when I make bacon, 
I've had bacon my whole life. Huge fan of bacon. Um, but I've always like cooked it in a skillet. Uh, in the past, I've microwaved bacon. But I still, to this day, feel like the very best way to cook bacon is in the oven. But it's got to be thick cut. Thick cut bacon, cooked in the oven, like 350, about 10 minutes or so. Flip it over, do the other side another 10 to 15 minutes. Let it cool off, drain completely, pat it down, paper towels, get all that extra fat and grease off of it. And you have phenomenal bacon because you actually have, you still have the fat that's on the bacon. It doesn't really melt away. It just renders completely. So uh, just the texturally and flavor, it's just the best way. The best way, in my opinion, of course. So that one was very good. There is kind of a sweet barbecue sauce going on there and very reminiscent of, like I said, like a KFC barbecue sauce. So let's try the, uh, the next one. That was the original. So let's try the sweet barbecue. See how much different that is. This is also 90 calories, four grams of total fat, um, 11 grams of sugar. And uh, yeah, that's it. Let's get into this one. See what this one's like. I'm assuming it is going to be, whoops, didn't cut it low enough. I'm assuming it's gonna be even sweeter than the other one. At least I would hope so, since this one's called the sweet barbecue sauce. Trying to preserve the, uh, you know, the little resealable part because I want to hang on to these for a while. Only having a little piece a day. There we go. Okay. Okay, so this has very very similar smell but it is a little bit different I can tell it's a, it's a slightly different barbecue sauce maybe more brown sugar or something this actually smells the same as that the barbecue chicken that I had in that uh, MRE type sandwich but anyway let's get a, uh, a little piece going here see what it tastes like all right so here's our little piece same thing, just a little little sticky. But you can see the bacon itself still has the fat attached to it. I'm assuming they do it the same way, low and slow, render all that fat. Okay, this one is definitely more sweet. This one actually has a little bit, a little bit more of a smoky flavor. So it's sweeter than the original and slightly uh, smokier. It's really interesting. Pretty damn good. I take either one of them. They're both delicious. If I had to choose between the two, I guess the sweet, the sweet one. That little bit of smokiness in there is nice. Nice little addition. It's not like incredibly sweet. If I had to give a number, like let's say the original is a five out of 10 for sweetness, this one's like a six out of 10. It's just noticeable enough. It's not like super sweet or anything. So next one we're gonna try is this uh, honey pepper. All right, now this one's 110 calories for the one ounce. Um, I'm sorry, it's one ounce bag, two servings. All right, 110 uh, calories per serving. 10 grams of sugar, five grams of fat. Honey pepper, huge fan of honey as well, and pepper. Oftentimes when I'm making bacon, I will throw some uh, fresh cracked black pepper on it, so. It's a good uh, flavor combo. Let's see. Oh man, wow. Oh man, that, all right, so you definitely smell both the honey and the pepper. The pepper really, it just like I said, fresh cracked black pepper. You know what it smells? It smells very much like uh, salt and pepper chips. Did you ever open a big old bag of salt and pepper uh, chips? That's what it smells like, predominantly pepper. But uh, the honey's coming in there as well. This particular bag, this seems to be a little bit more crumbled. The other ones have nice, big, solid pieces. Um, this one does not feel as sticky than the barbecue sauce ones. All right, a little bit drier on the feel. Wow, all right, so here we go. Hmm. 
Well, it's uh, it's much sweeter than the barbecue, even the sweet barbecue. But I don't really taste the honey. I definitely taste the pepper. It's like a sweet black pepper. The honey is giving this natural sweetness. I'll try another little little piece here. A little teeny piece. Yeah, I mean it's good. I don't think it's as good as the barbecue ones. I just don't taste the honey at all. You can smell it. It just it tastes um it almost tastes artificially sweetened. Does that make sense? Like it's extra sweet, but there's no honey flavor behind it. It's just really sweet black pepper. And generally speaking, black pepper jerky and you know like regular beef jerky um, is never really that sweet at all. It's more of a savory flavor. So it's kind of a weird, weird combo. Smelled better than it tasted. It's still good, don't get me wrong. I eat the whole bag if I could. Um, but as far as comparing to the others, can't hold a candle to the barbecue so far, and the sweet barbecue being the best. So interesting, interesting. I was kind of hoping, I, I love honey, so I was hoping it would be more of a honey flavor. You know, maybe I'm not having a, a big enough piece, but hey, I'm just, it's just a little taster here, not, not to get full or anything. But uh, yeah. So this one is the old fashioned maple. And maple bacon, or candied bacon, of course, is always a winner. Um, and this one looks like they're actual whole pieces. That, that lemon pepper one, again, a little bit on the drier side, and it kind of crumbled, so there's a lot more crumbs as opposed to large pieces. I don't know if that's um, a common thing with that flavor, or it just happened to be that bag. But, uh, yeah, this one is 120, so so far the most caloric. Of course, the maple syrup, I'm assuming, that's in there, let's see. Ingredients, natural, uncured, no nitrates, no nitrate except those naturally occurring in celery powder, bacon, uh, terminado sugar, celery powder, honey, maple syrup, and brown sugar. So yeah, I guess that's why it's a little bit more caloric. And again, as far as sugars, 5 grams of sugar, 8 grams of total fat. Alright, so let's try this one. <laughs> Damn, that smell good. See how these are like whole pieces? None of them are broken in there. All right, they're all whole pieces, which is nice, of course. So let's break off a little little chunk here. Old fashioned maple. It smells like bacon and just a hint of actually brown sugar, not really maple. I'm not, I'm not smelling maple syrup but more of like a brown sugar scent. Wow. Wow. Okay, so. <laughs> That's really weird. You get the bacon flavor. It's extra sweet. It's as sweet as the honey one. But you get, you taste the brown sugar and you definitely taste the maple syrup. And it actually, it really tastes like a cereal, like a breakfast cereal. Like if you've ever had any kind of extra sweetened brown sugar or maple flavored breakfast cereal, I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but it has that flavor. It really tastes like you, you threw bacon in some kind of like good kids breakfast cereal that was brown sugar flavored or maple syrup flavored. Um, interesting, definitely interesting. Uh, absolutely delicious for a dessert. Definitely on the sweet side. Nothing savory about that at all. But you do get that good, like, rendered fat from the bacon. Phenomenal. Really, really good. And, of course, this one, which I previously tried, but we're going to try it again here. 90 calories, uh, 5 grams of fat, 6 grams of sugar. And this, of course, is the uh, sriracha. Sriracha. So let's see what this is like again. I still have some from the other bag. I've been a good boy. I'm not uh, not cheating or anything, so I'm, I'm taking this stuff very, very lightly. A little old piece like that, just enough to get a taster. So you don't want to get full on this stuff, you want to actually enjoy the flavor. Okay. So. God damn, that smells so good. I, I can't, like, I wish you guys can smell this. It doesn't even just smell like, like sriracha sauce. Um, it smells like a really good Chinese food. Oh my God, so good. 
Yeah, just smells like delicious Chinese food. Um, break off a little piece here. This is extra sticky, right? Damn it. I guess that's going to be Gus's piece. <laughs> Trust me, it's sticky. But, uh, yeah. All right, so here we go. Got a little bigger piece here. Yeah, it smells like like really good Chinese food. It's the best way I could describe it. Sriracha has a very specific scent, you know, it's the, the peppers and the garlic, but it smells way more intense than that. So, bottoms up. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Um, flavor through the roof. Not only is it the most flavored of all of them, like a lot of these flavors are, are, are pretty good, not like too much. This one's like a punch in the mouth. Takes a couple chews and all of a sudden that heat kicks in. The heat is really, really nice. It's not gonna like blow you away. My uh, my wife is extremely intolerant to, to spices. So something even this much spicy, it just blows her away. And uh, for the average person though, you would not find this to be, sp you're not gonna be running for a glass of water after having this. It's just the right amount of spice for the average person. For a chili head or something, if you really like it kicked up, it's not gonna bother you at all. You're not even probably gonna feel the spice. But um, it's just, it's a, it's a good solid burn all around the mouth, but just really, really mild on the burn. Flavor through the roof. Uh, like I said, it doesn't, it tastes the same way as it smells. It doesn't taste like str straight sriracha. It, there's a lot more flavor going on there. And just delicious, the consistency is perfect. Um, just the best, the absolute best. I, I can't recall the different brands of bacon jerky I've had. I've had at least two different brands from my local supermarket years ago. The first time I saw it, probably two or three years ago, and I thought, wow, what a great idea. You know, I love beef jerky. You know, why not some bacon? And I remember trying it and thinking, this is just bacon. It didn't taste like it was jerky. You know what I mean? It was, it was a very soft consistency just like a bag of cooked bacon and it was good because i like bacon but I, i'm like eh, forget this it wasn't it was uh, not memorable you know what i mean uh and then i had it again a totally different brand and it was a a, a peppered um bacon jerky and it tasted better but same thing the consistency wasn't really more like jerky uh that's the other thing too is this is softer it's not like super chewy it's definitely chewier than a regular piece of cooked bacon but it's not over the top so you know if you have a hard time chewing things you know you could still have this it's not like like you know certain people love jerky but they're much older and they can't because their teeth are you know having teeth problems and stuff like that um this is uh softer than most beef jerky but definitely chewier than bacon does that make sense so uh yeah that was all delicious so uh yeah, big thumbs up. I definitely recommend it. Um, if you only have, if you're only going to try one, the sriracha is the way to go. If you really can't tolerate spice at all, sweet barbecue is probably my second favorite. Uh, my least favorite, the uh, the honey pepper. Unfortunately, still good. It's still pretty good. But like, I, I I wouldn't go to the store and buy a bunch of the honey pepper. I would go to the store if I found this at my store. I'd be there all the time buying the sriracha one. I mean, it's through the roof, amazing. Um, but yeah, really good. And of course, if you can't buy this or don't want to buy it. You can make this stuff at home. It won't taste exactly the same, but you can candy bacon. You know, you can look up how to do that and flavor it any way you want. Um, but this stuff's really, really good. Definitely worth a try if you're into beef jerky and stuff. It's a nice alternative, something different. But uh, yeah, pretty damn good. So like I said, in the future, I'll probably try this dry rub on some chicken or something or some pork chops. But um, no rush on that. But the bacon was so damn good the first time I had to try these other flavors. So now I have to... Uh, you know, store these and, and be good and not, not keep nibbling on them. But, uh, yeah, just absolutely delicious. So now I'm going to call Gus out, and he's going to get that little piece that fell on the uh, the carpet out here. I do have a carpeted, it's like an indoor-outdoor carpet uh, for the porch, so it's not all dirty or anything. But uh, that's his piece, so I'm going to let him enjoy that. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and uh, I'll see you soon. Take care.